Thanks, Alan. Irene, could I see you, please? It's in private. Why didn't you call me straight away? I tried to, but you were off doing God knows what. Anyway, it was more important that I made sure the little type was okay and he is. All right, fair enough, but I've been at the diner for over an hour. You should have let me know what happened. I wanted to tell you in person. Yeah, well, then why didn't you call in there on your way here? I was running late. Irene, if my son swallows a Chinese checker, I want to know about it. How do you think I felt when Angel just wandered in and told me I dropped everything and rushed straight home? Well, he must be all right if you hear yelling at me. That is not the point. You were looking after him. It was your responsibility to tell me what was going on. All right, all right. It won't happen again. Well, no, too right it won't. I won't ask you to look after Duncan again. Oh, jeez, you make it sound like you were doing me some sort of favour. I never wanted to look after your kid in the first place. So why didn't you say something? Because you weren't giving me the choice. Just like you don't when you want me to work extra hours here or in the diner. You don't ask anymore, Elsa. You just say, this is what I want, and expect me to kiss your feet for it. Well, thank you very much. You know how tough things are with Alpha Way. I thought I could rely upon you for some support. God strike me, you're getting it, aren't you? Yes, obviously, under sufferance. No, Alsa, I love devoting my life to you. It's given me a purpose. Well, if you're so unhappy, maybe you should find something else. Oh, what? You mean before you fire me for not giving you a thousand percent loyalty, why should I rob you of the satisfaction? I'll have your paycheck ready in an hour. Yeah, well, it's a shame it can't be sooner. Mm-hmm. <sighs>